Punches and kicks to the head during an MMA match can be fatal for fighters. It can end their career or their lives. When you take a look upon this sidewalk, it seems like it's just a pile of leaves. But when you take the time to actually remove these leaves, you discover that there's gravel and broken up pieces of concrete, kind of taking the shape of a pothole. Hunter says this can be very unsafe for runners and annoying when the rain begins to pour down. Another thing that Nouvelle's scoring system does is it helps shoppers ignore the marketing strategy placed on boxes by the manufacturers. For instance, you have this box which tells you that it's low fat and then you have another cereal box that tells you it's good for your heart. When participants finish drug court, they experience fulfillment from graduating and being clean. Recent graduate, Elisa Swark says, drug court gave her a second chance at a life she didn't think she would have. Now, Edward, they call you e-money, but I do have to ask you, what's the most you do for 200 bucks? Well, to be honest with you, Ty, considering my worth, I can't say it's a lot I would do for $200. LeBron lives up to the name King James. Trying to force a game seven, the Cleveland Cavaliers are not going out without a fight. The Golden State Warriors have made history by going 73 and nine during the regular season, but that means nothing if the Warriors don't repeat as champs. Standing in the way of history, LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. On to lacrosse class B state semifinals, Janesville DeWitt. Taking Webster Thomas, the local kids tally the first three of the game. Capped off by Grayson Burns, he's finished with five goals. Titans will score the next three to tie it, but in transition, Griffin Cook, the sophomore, puts JD back on top, making it 4-3 after the Titans briefly pull ahead. Ryan Archer stops on dime and goes top shelf. Two goals for Archer. JD outscores Webster Thomas 5-1 in the third. The Red Rams are going back to the state finals with a 13-9 victory. The NBA Finals may be over, but that doesn't mean we can't revisit some of the best moments in the series one last time. They say the series doesn't start till someone loses at home, and that's where we'll begin with the best moments of the NBA Finals. After the first three games being blowouts, Game 4 had 18 lead changes and 14 ties. The Warriors took control of the game with their three-point shooting. Harrison Barnes hit four from downtown, and so did Klay Thompson. The Warriors hit 17 tray balls for a combined 51 points. And you know it's no fun if Stephen Curry can't have none. Curry came alive in this game with the game high of 38 points as he hit nine money balls to steal game four on Cleveland's court. Moving ahead to game five, the Cavaliers were able to stay alive as LeBron and Kyrie pulled off a never before seen 82 point game performance between two teammates. They were spectacular with 41 apiece. The Kings jumper was falling as he hit four threes to go 50% from three lane. And Uncle Drew was on fire as he shot 70% from the field. The Cavs will return the favor and still a game on Golden State's home floor. Then we jump to game six where Curry tries to stop the bleeding, but LeBron stays on him and gives him a big block with the message attached to it. Sincerely trash talk to push a game seven. And then moving along in game seven, LeBron comes up again with another big block on equal dollar that all leads to this big time money making shot by Kyrie Irving right over Stephen Curry in the Warriors house. Kyrie had 26, right behind LeBron's 27 points, and it is a shot so nice, you see it, it's so smooth, you gotta take your time to see it twice. Hanging up the legendary 44 jersey number was without question the right thing to do 10 years ago, especially after great players like Jim Brown, Floyd Little, and Ernie Davis, who wore the jersey number at SU. But now the football team has announced to unretire the jersey, and this may seem odd. However, one football player thinks it can provide some great motivation throughout the city of Syracuse. 44 is not only seen hanging in the rafters of the Carrier Dome. It's also seen every time the players walk to their practice field. But could seeing the number 44 perfectly carved in these great statues be a reason for players to shy away from the jersey? Uh, the fact that 44 has, already has names uh, attached to it uh, uh, presents a challenge. Hans Laguerre is a defensive end for SU and he believes bringing back the number can provide motivation as opposed to pressure. Uh, you, you maybe it can inspire you whoever has 44 has like a little more um, get up in their step because they say oh I know who had this number before me but at the end of the day it's, uh, it's what the, the whoever wears it is what they make of it. 
Because SU's football team has been shaken up with the new head coach and the resigning of Floyd Little, who was the biggest advocate to unretire the number 44, there was now uncertainty about who will receive the jersey and how it will be given out. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> they, they, have, they haven't spoken to us about that um, at all. However, as the football team continues to train and get summer camp kicked off, Hearns hopes that the Big 4-4 doesn't provide inspiration for just one player, but for the city of Syracuse and the rest of his team. You know, the, the city that we play for is, the most important, is one of the most important things about being a Syracuse football player. Anything that can get the people excited about this season um, is a good thing. I think the, giving back the number 44, unretiring it, um, does just that. It's a legendary number. Um, we hope to have a legendary year. Only time will tell when SU has another player to suit up in the number 44. And when he does, you can only hope he doesn't disappoint.